All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these divinity, these divine tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into this monthly energy pick a card reading. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this fear energy, which we'll get into in just a minute. And then we're doing something different this month just with the wild unknown mystical, wild unknown mystical sea, <laughs> wild unknown archetypes. I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get into that in a few minutes as well. First, it should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this. You may currently be going through this and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice the spirit has for you within the reading or readings. Keep in mind, they are general. Not all may apply to you. That's perfectly all right. I may not even be talking to you. I may be talking to a cross watcher. I may be talking to someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I don't know. So if the shoe don't fit, don't force it. Please don't come to me talking about your feet, your toes, nor them corns hurt because I didn't do it. You did it, right? All right. It's part of being self-aware, self-accountable. Um... Utilize the readings and resources, anything that I suggest or recommend at your free will. I am not responsible for how you take or interpret the message or messages that I bring forth through spirit, through honesty and truth. That is up to you. That's why I say use your discernment. I do not subscribe to gender roles as far as male, female, but I will say he, she in reference to the masculine and or feminine energies that I feel within the cards. OK, I also want to say that. I do apologize ahead of time for any background noises that you may hear. They are chopping down some trees or something outside. So if you hear the the saw, <laughs> my bad, right? Just got to take it and go with it. Anyway, um, I think that's all that I really need to say. Like I said, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Let me get into my notes here. Before we even get into the channel messages, because I don't want to skip over because I'll be they be having me die real deep all fast. Um, <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and get through the power selection really quickly. Always, 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 y'all. I tell y'all all the time, please take your mindful deep breaths. Pause the video if you need to get into your Zen, allow spirit in to lead and guide you to the pile of pies that you are meant to hear and see. All right. It's not a race. It's a marathon. I'll be here. <laughs> Seriously. But anyways, um, just whenever you're ready, though, timestamps will be below. So really quickly, pile one, belonging. Pile two, yes, you have three. I, I <laughs> look down and you want me to tell you, but I was about to put them back. Because mm, mm -mm. who else did this? Aqua? No, who did I just do? Yeah, I think it was them. Anyway. Not not sure if you have any connection, but they too had three or have three here in their power too. Anyways, you have capacity to love, empowerment, and childlike expression. And then power three, you have divine support. All right. Again, take all the time you need. Whenever you're ready, timestamps will be below. They go and grow. Okay. All right. Now, in getting into um, your verse of the day. 636 may be an important number for you. That's when it came through. That is 15 being a six. Oh, wow. And I believe, was it them? Somebody else had, it might've been Cappy. I think it was Cappy. Somebody else had 636 as, a, as an important number. And I believe the power of six overall was heavy for them. So I don't know, you may be connected to Cappy or want to check out that reading as well. Okay, so the verse of the day for you is Isaiah 12, 2. <laughs> and that breaks down to the 12 is your energy anyway, right? That's the house you generally rule, Pisces. But 
together they break it breaks down to a five or 122 may be an important number for you i don't know maybe your address that's coming through for somebody all right the king james version of isaiah 12 2 reads behold god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid for the lord jehovah is my strength and my song he also is become my salvation okay in the New Living Translation, Isaiah 12, 2. See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. <laughs> it's powerful because it's a great segue into that fear energy, right? The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. I love it. I'm seeing the six of wands. That's powerful. I got to read that one more time. The New Living Translation. See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. All right. All right. Powerful. All right. Now, let me get back to your channel messages here. And y'all got a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I couldn't even, <laughs> I had to do two separate entries or pages in my phone because from what I'm using, they wouldn't let me write out the full dreams. <laughs> it was too long, they said. So, let me, um... I guess let me go back and start there at the first one. But hence your title, right? So trust it. Like, like the verse just said, trust trust God, you know? That's where you're receiving the, the dreams and visions from anyway, right? All right. So I know this is going to be quite lengthy, y'all, and I do apologize, but it is what it is. Um, Look, sorry, not sorry, and it's one of your songs. We're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> All right, so as far as the um, the dreams or visions go, someone breaks into your home and it's either an ex-lover, a frenemy, someone from the past whom you walked away from or left behind. They return to, quote, claim what's mine. And I have exclamation point question mark because and I have what's mine in mainly in the quotes because. I was just called to do that. And I was getting ready to say, but what's really your, you know what I'm saying? We really have nothing to possess, right? Nothing. Not even these bodies. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Because everything is borrowed, right? Anyways, and it belongs to the most high. Anyway, okay. So they go on a re uh, um, they go on to wreak havoc on whoever has wronged them, creating a murder mystery for you to solve. But they place themselves right in the middle of the scene as to be witness to what they thought was a trap for you and to be seen. Now, follow me here. Somebody's out for blood and they're chopping off heads like literally because what I was seeing and I know this, you know, if I trigger anybody, please click off right now. I'm just I'm warning you <laughs> like you don't have to continue or fast forward or whatever. But um, I because I, I mean, this dream kind of me for a loop to be quite honest and I'm you know whatever but I know not to be look <laughs> not to be fearful I know it's only signs right um I do take this overall this dream as a warning and as a um message because in a minute I'll, I'll tell you why it's really to let you know that there's nothing to fear and you are okay because you are protected okay but anyway let me get through this part so I see like, hey, y'all know uh, the Game of Thrones, if y'all watch that, how they, if anybody dare go against the kingdom or the throne, it's off with your head, literally. And then they put it on the stake, right? For the whole town to see, pretty much trying to incite fear in everybody for control, right? And it doesn't matter because they got, they got, oh boy, they got, oh, uh, uh, I was about to say snow, not snow. They got, uh, what was his daddy? Um, oh my God, why can't I think of his name? Y'all don't shoot me. But anyway, uh, oh my God, Stark, they got him, right? And he was a king of a whole territory. So, of course, they unjustly got him, which the retribution came later. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like, ain't nobody untouchable. You understand? When it comes to the divine, nobody is untouchable as far as, especially if they wrong a chosen one, because that's what I'm feeling like this is talking about. Whoever this is trying to come back from your past to incite fear in you or create you know what i'm saying try to wreak havoc in your life or cause turmoil or whatever it is baby mm -mm, honey no weapon formed against you shall prosper and i promise you they gonna get there so you don't have to worry about it but I, that's why i'm just saying though it's a warning because 
especially if you receiving, I don't know, some of you may be receiving, you know, threats or they got ill words for you or whatever. It's like, but uh, just, you know, don't even fall down into that. Pray about it and let it go. Like I said, because you're already protected. We're going to get into that in here in a minute. Okay. So just that kind of visual is what I saw. And like I said, I don't mean to be gory or gruesome, but it literally was like several heads up on the wall. Right. And um, the the perpetrator, whoever this is in your life, um, and it could be a family as sad as it is. It can be a family member. So because it's generally the people we're closest to. Right. I mean, that's just the way it works. I don't look. You got to ask God that. <laughs> but it's really for lessons anyway. So whatever. But the, the, the perpetrator is like he's locked in. And I say he it, it, it can be a female, but it's just masculine energy. Don't forget that when I say he she. OK, but uh, so they're in like this closet or I do, it's just like a door. It's like a wall, a hidden room. I wouldn't even say a closet because y'all y'all don't even really know it's there. It's like behind a wall in the center of the room is because it's like you walk around um this circular room because the wall is like in the center i don't even don't don't ask i don't know <laughs> but it's like it's kind of like blacked out too as far as the center wall door whatever hidden room whatever and um and you're walking around it's almost like um not panic room but that's what came to mind what is it escape like an escape room <laughs> i mean if you will anyway um, so in order to, if you, if you, since I, that came to mind in order to get out of this escape room, you got to solve the mystery. And of course you end up with all the clues and stuff. You do end up getting to it. And when you start figuring out who it is and who done this, the connection between the heads on the wall, right? Um, that's when this person pops out and go like runs for it, right? Tries to escape. And ultimately kind of escapes, but not really. You never escape God, right? But they escape your your uh, investigative team, let's say. So anyway, um, what I got out of that though is somebody's out for blood. They're chopping off heads and going for the jugular. That's why I say that com it comes as a warning. So just be careful. I mean, you know, God forbid anything truly physically happens to you. I feel like it's more metaphorical, okay? But still be careful. Especially for those of you who I have to say who have been in an in, in, in an abusive relationship in the past, y'all know that they if they haven't healed, you know what I'm saying, or you know taken the accountability for their actions and all that, mm -mm, they still the same. So you you do have to be careful, okay, for whoever that's for. So then, um, and there's something about necks because another part of this, which was totally separate from this, um, one of my little cousins, and it comes from, let me just tell you what happens. Um, so it, for it to be my little cousin, I feel like it's somebody very, very close to you and they may be young. It may be a child, but, um, or they just may be an adult acting like a child. Okay. However it resonates for you. But whatever the case is, and my little cousin is no more than two or three. And my cousin, who child it is, um, her um, brother and sister have him. And, <clears throat> and um, but it all happens in like a split second. And what happens is they turn, they, they're not paying attention, right? And so he goes after the ball or whatever he's playing with and um and ends up falling through a crack and I don't know how far how far he falls that's I, I don't feel like that's the point of the story but I didn't see I saw him go over but I didn't see the aftermath but from my other two cousins faces right his aunt and uncle I just assumed it was pretty bad and I didn't want to see it right but the thing about it is cuz their face and you know they could have been overly dramatic I don't know but still just the thought it was enough, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and obviously I knew it was going to trigger me or traumatize me. So I didn't even go over the edge to see, but he ended up being relatively okay. The thing about it is he did break his neck, right? And that's why I said it's something with necks. And then afterwards, he wasn't quite the same, obviously. I mean, he took a fall and broke his neck, right? But I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, it's almost like a, a malfunction, like there was a chip, a, a, um, a glitch in the system. That's the best way I can describe it. 
it wasn't, but it wasn't necessarily a negative malfunction because really sometimes he was saying stuff and doing stuff even more advanced than he was before. If that makes any sense at all, he was talking more clearly um, and made very much. It was almost like he, he, wow, wow. What they're telling me right now is that the fall, you got to fall because I'm hearing get back up again. And a saint is just a sinner who fell down, then got up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you may fall. You may have to hit rock bottom. You may break a few bones. You know what I'm saying? But that's only going to make you stronger. And he's more advanced going, getting back up, like going through the ascension process. I hope that makes sense. That's the best I can I can really say it. But anyway, also from that though, because I was feeling um, yesterday, I was feeling this irritation like at the nape of my neck, and I and I even have in parentheses I'm a in quotes pain in the neck with an exclamation point, right? So somebody may literally and and you may have these sensations in your neck, Pisces, for because of the, whoever that perpetrator, the the ex lover, friend of me, you know whoever that. They feel like you wronged them. And I feel like it's more of a jealousy, envy type of energy because you just left them. Like you moved on and left them behind. Something like that. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's let's move on because we got a lot going on here. So then, so after he escapes and goes through this other door, um, you you and your team try to run after him, right? But the door that he goes through is it's almost, it, not even almost, it is a setup, right? Because it. A mob comes rushing at you through the door and it's really, and I took the mob as distractions, okay, to keep you, you know, get you off course. So, um, they are coming at you, like trying to attack you, fight you, do whatever, but it's like, <laughs> can't touch this, done, nah, nah, nah. but literally they can't touch you, right? Because, um, it's like you have this and I'm, I'm skipping, I'm skipping. Let me read what I, what I wrote, but I'm just remembering the dream so vividly again, why your title is as it is. Um, so you go off on, yeah, let me, let me go on and just tell it how I remember it. Cause, and then I get back to this, make sure I didn't skip nothing. But, um, so they coming at you, trying to fight you, you know what I'm saying? Trying to harm you. But then once they fit, see that they, they can't touch you, that you're, you know, untouchable, unbreakable. Um, it's like, it's like the saying, if you can't beat them, join them. So it, then it turns into like a, a dance, a party, right? And you living it up. I'm talking about you just dancing your ass off and you just singing. I mean, to your heart's content. I'm talking about living your best life, right? And this mean girl, I, it's somebody, it's like, because what I wrote is you go off on a mean girl from a sorority or in front of a group of people. Once the assailant who creates the murder mystery scene escapes, a mob starts coming at you through the door. And I have in parentheses distractions in parentheses to get you off course of tracking him. The mob is coming at you to attack you, but you are protected and they can't touch you. There's like an invisible shield around you. And again, I have in parentheses auric field in parentheses. So it then turns into a dance party where you're having the time of your life singing at your heart's content when you overhear the mean girl talking shit. You let it fly for a bit because you're having a good time, but really whole time it doesn't sit right with you. Once the song or dance is over, you let her have it. And then in parentheses, I have in front of the same crowd, she tries to clown you in. Okay. In parentheses. So you tell her several times <laughs> and I can see it plain as day like you in you in her face, like face to face. Telling her, you are a bitch. Just as calm and plain as day. And you repeat that at least three times. And you said, and she's looking like, you know, kind of rolling her eyes, not really listening to you. And you tell her again, you are a bitch. Like, no, you really are a bitch. And it's like that one hit because her whole face and demeanor changes. And then you proceed to tell her how you overheard what she was saying about you and how sad she is for trying to bring you down just for having the time of your life and that she has no idea what it what it is or what it means to feel good. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's something like that. This is and honestly, this is where it cut me off and I couldn't even write anymore. So let's move on then into the rest of the channel, your songs and all that, because we already at 20 minutes, y'all. So um, 
the song that I got for you is DJ Khaled and I just I'm just gonna put him because it's it, but it's featuring Nas, Jay Z, and James Fauntleroy and uh, Fauntleroy and the Houston and Harmonies. Sorry, not sorry. That's why I said that from the get go. I love this song, y'all. I love this song. Like man, they be spitting and got some some messages for you. So what I got out of Nas is or from Nas is only kings stand near me. Okay, because he starts out, hear ye, hear ye, only kings stand near me. And then he says, he goes on to say, trade heavily, health is wealth. I'll take heed. Because <laughs> he talks about cryptocurrency and all that. And then later on, that's when he says this, trade heavily, health is wealth. Remember that. Um, and then he says, you're wasting your time if you want my forgiveness. I feel like that was big to whoever that person is. You know what I'm saying? Because of what the all they, you know, the havoc they really trying to wreak in your life. You may be saying that to them or whatever. I don't know. Them you, because it could be flipped. Y'all know that. Roles can be reversed. All right. Then Jay goes on and he he really, man, they both are legends, but I don't know. It's something about his verse that um just man. Okay, so he says, from what he says, you may be dealing with somebody named B. They, they name begin with the letter B. Last name may begin with the letter B. You know what I'm saying? Or B may be their nickname. I don't know. It's something about B. Okay. And then he says, um, hey, to know not to touch me. I'm with the fuckery. <laughs> so I feel like you just, like I told you, how you had to stand off with old mean girl and whoever the, the, the ex-lover friend of me, whoever coming back trying to hurt you, you saying that too. Like, nah. <laughs> And then um, when he, when I first heard this and he said this, it hit me. I'm talking about it hit so hard. He says, America's disrespect for me killed Christ and created religion unexpectedly. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't even got no words for that. Whew. It's just a feeling. Anyways, then he says, um, everybody's getting bands, but we just dance to different drums. And I love that because I'll be telling y'all that anyway, the drums is your heart being, you got to go with what you love. And as long as you happy, mm -mm, it don't even matter because you're going to create your bands, your riches just by doing what you love naturally. You know what I mean? All right. And then, um, I love it at the end when he says intermittent fasting, but these meals, I ain't missing none. I love that because he getting it. He getting it. All right. And then y'all to finish it up, you got <laughs> pretty much the first three of my epiphanies. So I highly recommend you watch it. The first one that came through is Epiphany 3, Serenity. And mm, y'all, it's powerful. I mean, I feel like all you just, all you want is peace because that's ultimate peace for me. Okay. I'm not going to spend too much time. I, I will let you just go listen to it because you may pick up something totally different than what I have channeled for you. Okay. And then Epiphany 2 is hashtag gratefulness, multiple, uh, excuse me, gratefulness magnified. And then Epiphany 1 is infinite possibilities. And I feel like these last two come through mainly because some of you may truly be feeling like defeated in a sense, or like, I don't know, just kind of, um, I, I'm hearing reluctant, let down, um, I, I'm even hearing deceived. I don't know. Maybe you, you did this to yourself, right? Cause I, I'm not quite sure if it really has anything to do with anybody else. It can be, but you know, I don't know. There's been a lot of personal transformations going on within these readings for each sign. So I won't be surprised if that comes out for you. All right. I think that is all y'all. Let's go ahead and dive into these cards because we are already, I can't put a time on it, but I'll be trying. <laughs> Um, so in getting into this sphere, the card itself says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, which is the highest vibration there is, which will transform all. And the funny thing about this card and what I forget who it, who else it came out for in a different month, but with this, first of all, being a square, most all of them have been some kind of circular form of a mandala, right? So this is foundational to me. Squares are four-sided, the number four. Four is the number for your heart way. Four is about stabilization, right? About balance. Um, 
harmony even like even you know I'm, I'm focused on this cross here and even each line of the cross has four what are these what do you want to call these little pellets I don't know oval shapes this with this purple energy that's all about divine connection right and it's like something in center here your love is meant to shine you see I was trying to burst out right here and oh there is like a touch of green for that heart chakra in there if I can get it to focus Y'all see that? Powerful. Anyway, and even the red in the background, like it's going back to the root chakra for me. And it's like, you got to get, wow, the fall. You got to go back to ground zero, which is root, which is your stability. Again, may have something to do with family. You might even have to go back generations to figure out, you know, where this idea of fear came from. Baby, I don't know. But then you even in each corner, you have the four little petals here. Mm -hmm. How many triangles is that? Hold on, y'all. I'm just taking a closer look. Let me count these. It's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. The star healing. I told y'all that star is coming out from the center. There are 17 triangles here. Healing. Potentially maybe an eight Leo energy. Mm, 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 mm. And y'all, even these little, the, these squares right here, they're four of those little lines, petals. I'm getting petals. Something about a flower. You may even want to work with purple flowers, purple, red, or green if you're doing your ritual. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Healing your heart, breaking through that. And wow, breaking through because they're bringing me to this capacity of love, breaking through any blockages that you may have had. Oh, that's what's going on. This star is busting through any type of illusion, deception, like they said, excuse me, resentment, heartbreak, pain, all that to stabilize you and re um reground, if you will, your heart. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but we're going to move on. The box. Who else got this? I can't even remember now. If I remember, I will link them below. But um, who was it? Anyway, I told them basically anytime I see this box, it's almost like, you know, you got to think outside the box. You've been constricting yourself. Something's been self-limiting. And I, that person that's trying to come back and wreak havoc, they, they were trying to dim your light. Because even here, it's like you trying to shine, baby. And you got to bust through, paint outside the lines. You know what I'm saying? Create your own glory, your own peace, your own joy, your own happiness. I don't know. But this is, what is this? 44, master, mastery. You may be dealing with an ascended master or need to. I also told them, that whoever else it came out for, I see this as a few things. It's like a pyramid and you're at the top of the pyramid ready to just connect to the heavens above, if you will. Right. And then it's also like uh, one of those. It, I'm getting dreidel today. Wow. OK, it could be a dreidel, but still you're the tip. You're the top. Right. You're what this revolves around, if you will. Wow. Mm hmm. There's something about order and organization, too, that's coming through for you, Pisces. Um, but I told them, too, that it's almost like a, um, I don't even know what them things call. It's not really a pinwheel, but I guess since that's coming up again, it may have something to do with a pinwheel. But it's it's like um, if this is on an axis and it's like it's rotating, you know what I'm saying? Like if this, you know, it's rotating like this, if you will, right? If you just blow on it or, it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like this. Can be a disc, but I see it more as a 3D, uh, what you call it, tetrahedron, I guess. Is that what you call it? Like a diamond. Diamond in the rough. That's what I just heard. That's, oh, you are being that diamond created by this pressure. I don't know. Something. Mm -mm. But break through that fear. That may be that constriction, that deception, you know what I'm saying? That illusion, that devilish energy, break through that fear. Because I talk about that in, in, what was it, Epiphany 1, I believe. The infinite possibilities. And once you, once you break through that fear and really live in the energy of love, baby, anything is possible. Truly, anything is possible. 
All right, now we already at 30 minutes and I don't want this to cut off. So power selection real quick so we can get into this. Power one, belonging. Power two, capacity to love, empowerment, and childlike expression. And power three, divine support. Once again, timestamps are below. Whenever you're ready, let's go and grow. All right, my beautiful Pisces. For those of you who chose this pile, pile one, this is the pile and these are the messages for you. Let's keep in mind. We are diving deeper into this fear energy, realizing that you're testing your resolve to live in the energy of love, all right? Breaking through those fears. And then we have from the Wild Unknown Archetypes, the box, number 44. If you missed the channel messages or skipped through it, I would highly recommend you go back and listen. At the beginning of the channel messages, there is a part that... You may want to fast forward through. I don't know. I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but whatever. Diving into your topper energy with belonging here. That 41 being a five potentially. Movement. Changes. Transformation. As Ganesh sits on his rider right here. Right? They on the move look like. <laughs> we belong together. I always get that. I don't know. But on the flip side, somebody may feel like they don't belong. Mm -hmm. You you do though. Like I feel like even if you felt like you don't be you didn't belong or don't belong currently, depending on your timeline and where you are, you will be on the move to find your soul tribe. You know what I'm saying? They will come to you in due time when you're ready. Because some 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 I was about to say some areas. Yes, some areas you don't belong in. You know what I'm saying? It just don't sit right. If it don't feel right, mm -mm, get on. Why force yourself to be somewhere you, you don't feel right in? Now, in saying that, however, it can um, signify that, you know, because you grow through uncomfort uncomfortability. Is that a word? It is today. <laughs> right? That's why that's, those are those growing pains. So, and speaking of growth with that five energy... You know, it just it just depends. Now, if it's toxic, get the hell on. Right. But if it's just if it's just uncomfortable because you, you know, you're having to face yourself, that's different. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's see what they got to tell you out of the guidebook. And I just I see innocence, which is 43, potentially a seven. And look. Once you fight through the growing pains, you have much to achieve, right? <laughs> Anyways, so the message is on page 72, potentially a nine. Belonging. Learn to find security from within. In this card, Ganesh uses the mouse as his vehicle, which signifies his triumph over the ego. In Hindu mythology, the mouse symbolizes the ego, for the ego can eat away at all that is good and decent in a person. Belonging seeks to solve the predicament of ego's own perceived separation. Since the ego has no conscious memory of its connection to others and to source, you experience a, quote, need, end quote, to get out of seclusion by bonding with people around you. These people can be your family, peer groups, or your community. The ego is, either, is neither good nor bad, but simply a necessary part of you in this existence. The ego can manifest inclinations that are either more positive or more negative in nature. There are many positive aspects to belonging. You develop your ability to love, connect, bond, share, and care for others. You see yourself more clearly through the mirror of relationship. It is important in belonging that you not try to seek approval through others. Through this card, Ganesh is here to help you focus on positive feelings from being a part of a community. Learn to trust, ask for help, and to rely on others. If y'all don't get that trust out of that. <laughs> and like I said... Most of the time, you should view a relationship as a mirror. You know what I mean? So if you're seeing toxic traits, you might want to check yourself. Really more so check your ego. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Let's see. I'll just put this up here. I don't know why I like it like that, but that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> I like it like that. <laughs> All right. The way this is going to work, my beautiful Pisces, is first we're going to dive here into the good tarot. All things good potentially coming to you may already be surrounding you and you just may not be aware of. I don't know. Then we'll dive here into the uh, wild unknown tarot. 
because <laughs> I almost call it archetypes. I'd be switching these up. But I brought these back because there is a divine connection between these and the archetypes, as well as, of course, it's going to clarify and confirm any messages from the good tarot. And then there's still this theme of maybe something hidden or you're unaware of or unknown to you. It may shine some light on it. I don't know. And then finally, we'll finish up here with the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And I brought these back because I have a divine connection with these. And they have a lot of wisdom. So much. Just going to put these aside. And they go and grow. The call. <laughs> Are you going to answer or no? This is a call to love. I was going to try, like not even try. I was going to tell y'all that I was going to attempt to try to get all the cards out and then get into the messages. But no, who am I kidding? They be going, going in. But yeah, and then I feel like this is this is the call. This is your, your angels, your spirit squad, like sending them your protection. You know what I'm saying? Your ancestors, your spirit guides, whomever is coming to protect you. I told you, can't, can't touch this. But I feel like, um, are you going to answer the call to love is what they're asking you. Um, again, I get Aquarian energy generally out of here. This this very well may be you, okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, peace of mind. That's serenity. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what you're moving to. That's what they want you to move to. Balance and stability, harmony as well, mentally, especially here. This is, I, I mean, I know this is air energy, but I just, I can't help to get the sixth uh, chakra, third eye, which is you, Pisces. I mean, that's what you rule because you do, you have to have a balanced, stable mind to see things clearly. This is that vision, right? <laughs> and Mariah Carey, she keep, she keep coming up because that did, that song did come out, come out on shuffle for you. <laughs> and I, I, I was like, no, like we, we've been killing that, overdoing that song, but here it is again. I had a vision of love. <laughs> That's what it's about, though. You know, hold that vision. Don't let it go. That's what I say. Even if you overdo it, over think you overplaying it, mm -mm. do what you need to do for your peace. Okay. And that's the message. This is uh, like the night of air. Um, Geminian or even Aquarian energy. Could be a Libra, but I get generally Gemini or Aquarius stronger. That's the message. And I feel like, you know, somebody may be coming to you, whether from your spirit squad, of this belonging. Um, like I said, just... just and this could be like the, the, the close ones, the ones that you, who are meant for you, right? Your soul tribe in, in spirit or in physical. Letting you know the truth. You know what I'm saying? You, you will be able to, to know and see the truth. And I feel like this is also advising you to seek your truth, continue to go after your truth. <laughs> it's like they're calling you, you know, or really blowing you, sending you forward, Right with the six of air, because that can be about movement as well. And even here in this messenger of air, I get that they're calling you forward. They're guiding you. No, because I get our energy here. Like, it's like, you know, whisper. Take heed to the whisper. I don't know why I get our energy out of there, but I do. That's the knowledge and wisdom that you have to gain. <laughs> and stand up. Keep fighting for what you believe in. Okay. Never give up. Hold the vision. It's for a reason. Again, I, with this coming out, I've been getting this. This is your aura. This is your spirit squad, your protectors, your guardians, right? Fairies, angels, ancestors, otherwise. I don't know. And that unicorn is all about it. It's different. It's unique. It's at the pinnacle of this mountain. You didn't climb. <laughs> And I'll rise up. You don't fail, but you got back up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, and that is truth. This is it, especially if this resonates for you. This is Archangel Michael coming out with the stamp of approval. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. This is the message for you. Like I said, this is the truth. 
This is you standing in your truth wholeheartedly, right? Not cold hearted. Yes, they can be a little brash or, you know, whatever. But no, I just feel like you're, you're ready. You're, you see, see things very clearly and you, um, have a clear mind, a balanced mind here with the six of air, especially. And you're seeing things for what they are and you know what you deserve, what you will stand for, what's your truth and what's not. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and you're going to cut what doesn't serve you. I love that. I love it. <laughs> and I love it. Get in the little room over here. I ain't gonna be able to really manipulate these too much. Okay. Now, moving on to the wild unknown. Let's see what they have for you. Six of Cups, I'm telling you. <laughs> somebody or something from your past, potentially. But once again, with this six, I'm, and six is looking like a heavy number for you, too. I told you 636, right, when the verse came out. Um, but double confirmation here with the sixes. And this is that love, the energy of love, balance, harmony. This is you, Pisces, I feel, truly. I'm telling you, this is this is your energy. I mean, obviously, you know, they're advising you to get into this balanced mind, of course. And like I said, I know it's air energy, but I'm feeling it. it's you. <laughs> That's just it. It's you, baby. This, that mental confliction, conflict, the, the negativity. I feel like this is that outside person. I mean, it very well could be you. Because like I said, the relationships are only reflections of you. But um, but I love, I've been seeing this particular five of swords differently. And I love, honestly, the way that it is because it's like, you're, that's the head, off with the head. Oh my gosh. Especially the negative thoughts and ideations. And like I said, the mental confliction, the turmoil, anything that is self-sabotaging, you done with it. You cutting it off at the head. <laughs> oh man. Severing them ties. That's good. And with that five energy, just like in belonging, it's growth. It's movement. It's change. Okay. And again, you got further movement with this messenger, the night, right? This is real quick. <laughs> real quick. Like, for real. Look at here. Real quick. You move into your stability. To your independence. I love it, Pisces. I truly do. And with this particular nine of pentacles, it has been coming out with every sign in one pile or another. And sometimes even in reverse. But I love that it's upright for you. And I, I see this particular one as mental stability, right? You learn to balance your mind with them four feathers there. That's air energy all the way. But of course, this is the nine of pentacles. I get it. Which is that Virgo and energy. That nurturing, healing, mothering yourself, you know, loving yourself. This is also building um, and establishing, you know, you, you worked on yourself and you had that self-esteem. That's what that's what they tell you to fight for. You know what I'm saying? Hold on to that. Don't ever let go of that vision. Mm -mm, for nobody. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that, though. And look, even with because they had me pause for a minute. This is also going back to that um, getting grounded, like going back to the first through really the third chakras. Wow, that's why they gave me epiphanies one through three. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's that connection right there. Listen to them, I promise you. Because look, I was even about to skip through those, to be quite honest with you. Because I was just trying to get to, you know, a nice soothing meditation like we listen to now in the background. But they said, no, <laughs> really listen. And it's funny because I don't, I don't know, I ain't even about to go all into that. But I was just getting ready to say like, you know, sometimes I, I'm I be going through it too, y'all. And I don't pay myself enough respect for what I have done and created and how far I've come. And they force me at times, you know what I'm saying, just to sit real still and take it in. Stop trying to move so fast. You know what I'm saying? Just stop the smell of roses. But anyway, moving on. Look here. As I say, <laughs> celebrate. You have much to celebrate, much to be proud of. See how far you've come. This is that belonging, getting together with the friends, family, loved one, whoever your spirit, soul, tribe is, right? And being grateful. I love this. I love it. 
look, you got the three of cups and the six of cups, which ultimately is the nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment. Just be careful not to overindulge, okay? <laughs> That's for somebody. You turn up, but you know. Do what you do. I can't tell you what to do. But that advice came through for whoever that's for. Okay. But this is beautiful energy. Finishing up here. Look at here. I can't make it up. <laughs> this is getting grounded. And even with the colorway in here, it's, I'm telling you, the root through the... I mean, honestly, all of them here. But still, root, sacral, and solar plexus is what I'm getting. The, and heart is what I'm getting the most. Because even look here. There's major transformation. Something has been rooted and grounded and growing. That reminds me of the tree of life right here. And even in this reminds me of her heart. And I see a major transformation because I get butterfly energy there. I know you can't hardly see it, but that's what I get. And look how aligned like her world, her, her universe is. Obviously, I get feminine energy here. This 18 potentially being a nine here. Um, it's talking about that moon energy too. And that's powerful because, you know, I even got this as the moon or get this as the moon. Again, that's feminine energy to me. It's just, you know, the, I guess the shadow side, if you will honor that. Oh, and that's powerful because. Whew, wow. spirit. Because mm -hmm. as soon as I woke, I, that's what I was hearing. Shadow side, shadow side. And you Pisces are my shadow side. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, for any Virgo. So you may definitely, that definitely check out that Virgo reading. Okay. You may be Virgo moon, especially if you Virgo moon. But in either way, I advise you to check out that um, Virgo's reading or even Cancer's reading. Because Cancer is, gen you know, that's, that's the moon. <laughs> like any water sign, but including yourself, but I highly recommend Cancer and Virgo. Okay. You may be Cancer and Virgo moon or, and, or Virgo moon. Okay. No, or Virgo moon. <laughs> Either way, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Sheesh. Look at here. And then we got the hummingbird. This has been coming out quite a bit too. 26 potentially being an eight. Again, going back to that Leo energy. There's something, it's something about being at the pinnacle because even I don't really want to mess with it, but y'all see the unicorn at the pinnacle of this mountaintop or whatever this is. And even this, this hummingbird is at the pinnacle of, I don't know, it's like ascending, leveling up. You don't, that's what it is. Rising up. Powerful. Powerful. You may want to even work with white flowers. I know I told you red, green, or purple. You may even want to throw some white in there. White can honestly be any color that if you can't find any of those other colors, you can transmute the white to any color. Okay. That's that getting back up again. Rising up. Wow. All right. Let's go on. Let me see what they got for you out of the guidebook. That's that enlightenment too. And I believe protecting, because look at these wings. That is what, that's that protection. <laughs> that is exactly what that is. That's your spirit. That might be a spirit guide for you. Because look at their wings. And she looks like she's protecting her world, her, you know, peaceful world at that, that she's creating. And even this, you know, it's like, I don't know, I'm getting moon and I, I've been getting in light, like sun energy too with this. But it's like, man, and then that's eight and nine, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. Divinely guided and protected. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, look, I turned to Beloved, which is five. Fives are big for you too. Five, five, five. I feel like that's transformation majorly to get to the 16. Right? I mean, to, excuse me, to the six because five, five, five is 15, right? To get to the six, which is balance, harmony. You may even have something to do with the Capricorn. I see 12, the coyote. Let's see. The earth keeper. The picture is on page 36, which is yet another nine. <laughs> and y'all, 36 may be big for y'all. All the numbers that I've called out and that you see here, um, 
maybe I forgot to mention that in the in the disclaimer, but they may be speaking about like your birthday. And I get it. You can't be born on the 36th of the month. But what I'm saying is if when you reduce it, it's a nine. Right. So you may be born on the ninth, the sixth, the third. Um, and then any other number, the fifth, any other any of the other numbers I've already mentioned, the, the 26th, the 18th. Again, we already said eight and nine. And what else we got? The seventh. And there's a two here or the 20th, right? In the judgment. So, or the call, either way. Or even the first, fourth. Because remember, we got 41 in Ganesh. All right. Message is on 37, which is potentially a 10 or a one. Okay. The essence. Just as you're involved in co-creating your world, you are also responsible for its well-being. The earth keepers are dedicated to the stewardship of the earth and all life. They choose to hold the sacred dream. <laughs> I laugh because, and I had to stop in the middle of the sentence because that is where your title, like, and I had your title and all that before I even sat down to touch the cards or shuffle or do anything. Mm-mm. All right. They choose to hold the sacred dream of a planet where all beings live in peace, that serenity, and where the rivers and the air are clean. Remember that everything you do it has an impact for seven generations. That seven is big. Mm -hmm. All right, it's upright, so you get the invitation. You have outgrown your small dream of success and achievement and are ready to dream big and big as italicized. With the possibilities beyond your wildest expectations, they're bringing me back to the epiphany one, infinite possibilities. That's why that came through. Baby, come on, spirit. Thank you. It says, take on the mantle of the earth keeper and reach out to a friend in need whom you may not have been in touch with for some time. Take care of your pets and feed the strays that come by. Clean up your yard as this is a reflection of your relationship to the earth. Grow the sacred dream and your personal life will flourish. Remember, it's not about, quote, me, end quote, any longer. Take care of yourself and the planet is basically the advice. What do you say? Health is wealth. Ain't that what Nas said? That's what they bring me back to. All right, I turn to the lightning, trying to get to the hummingbird. Major changes, y'all, and it's a 30. <laughs> All right, so alignment here. And then I see heart of sky, which is 24 or a 6, right? All right, the hummingbird. The picture is on 52, potentially a 7. And then the message is on 53, another 8. The essence. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hold on. Wow, I just got um, <laughs> a mean tickle in my throat. 22.55 on the timer as I said that. Something may be going on. Check your throat chakra, y'all. The essence. Despite being so little, hummingbirds are great journeyers, migrating between North and Central or South America to feed from the summer nectar. This gentle creature can be fiercely territorial to protect its home. <laughs> and home is where the heart is. So protect your home and heart. Okay. Excuse me. Hummingbird teaches us to be gentle to ourselves and protect our personal space. Hummingbird invites you to embark on your epic quest. Bypass the dung pile of old pain and hurts. Head for the flowers and learn to trust the calling you hear ever so softly. Whew. Wow, I cannot make this up. And that just gave me chills. The Invitation. The buzzing you feel is the sound of your hummingbird wings preparing you to say yes to a new adventure and yes is italicized. This is not the time to linger on what was wrong or what has gone wrong, but to trust in the rightness of the moment and take bold action. Trust that success is assured, even if you must face tests and challenges to reach your destination. Know that all will be well because the all is in the small. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm hearing, take no thing for granted. Okay. Nothing at all. Everything has a divine purpose and reason for being in your life at the time that it is. Be grateful and celebrate, y'all. It's powerful. It's powerful. I, I can't, I mean, sometimes it's even hard for me to explain. <laughs> That's why hashtag gratefulness magnified. Mm -hmm. that's what I got for you those of you who chose this pile I pray that it resonates if it does you know what to do 
For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below because you never ever know how this may help someone else grow, especially and in including yourselves, bro. Yeah. If someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it and want to thank you for that. I thank you for your time and attention and for lending me your ear. I love you and I appreciate you growing this channel with love and light. That's what I'm here for, y'all. Don't forget to take care of yourself and be kind and gentle. Like I said, protect yourself. Health is wealth. You do not have to feel ashamed or any other way for doing so. You're meant to, right? Mm. Anyway, if you're joining me for another pile, I'll see you there. If not, please take care, my beautiful Pisces. Until the next one, be easy. Deuces. All right, welcome, my beautiful Pisces. For those of you who chose this pile, pile number two, this is the pile, and these are the messages for you. Let's keep in mind we're diving a little bit deeper into this fear energy, realizing you're testing your resolve to live in the energy of love and Going deeper, seeing why the box came out for you. Master number 44. If you skip the intro channeling, I highly advise you go back and listen. I do warn you that if you're triggered, you can skip through a portion of it. But prayerfully, you'll get the main message, okay? Messages, really, from these cards. So you'll know, you know, a little bit deeper why they're here and what, what I got intuitively out of them. Anyway, we ain't got time for all that because <laughs> that was part of the intro. So, let go. Um, and diving into your topper energies. Collectively, when they came out, like, <laughs> I was trying to resist, y'all. I wanted to put them back. <laughs> put them back. But I couldn't. I mean, they came out for a reason, right? And centrally, with this empowerment, this is screaming solar plexus chakra, as you see. I feel like, like it was talking about... Um, also in the where where did I get it? Oh, um um oh no, I believe that was pal one talking about the ego. So you might want to check them out, okay? You definitely might be connected to that. I'm I won't be surprised. But I this is to me talking about taming your ego and when you do that, you definitely will be empowered. That twenty three is yet another five, which forty one is the five from pal one. So there is definitely a connection there. It will take some deep prayer and meditation for real. But um, I also feel like this is beautiful because when these fell out, this was actually on top of them all. And I didn't even know that there were three until, of course, I picked them up. And, um, you know, <laughs> that's when I really wanted to put them back. But even still, um, <laughs> that's funny because this is the 12 energy. This is you, I feel, Pisces. And they're telling you or wanting you to really get into your energy of going with the flow and, and obviously get into a childlike expression, being jovial, being happy, being carefree. Like I said in the dream, living your best life no matter what, right? And that will definitely help tame your ego here, okay? For real. And then... And that will help to open up your heart, which is where you will be in that. Look, you will bust through these chains. Right? I'm telling y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And then, of course, it will lead to this capacity to love, right? Bring in that flow with this green, that screaming heart, health, energy, and healing, right? Maybe even get out get out into Mother Nature because they, this child, like, may be in, like, a little, like, a, um, what you call it? What you call it? I'm getting like a temple, but wow. Yeah, your inner temple, your inner sanctuary. That's what I was getting really. But um, some of your, your sanctuary may be out in nature. And for whatever reason, I'm here in Virgo. So like I told pal one, and that's crazy. You may want to watch that Virgo reading. You may be connected to a Virgo. I don't know. But like I was telling y'all when I woke up from the dream, all I got was shadow side and me being, a, um, or maybe I didn't tell y'all in the intro, but I told pal one, but I'm telling y'all now. When I woke up from the dream, um, that's all I heard was shadow side and me being strong, heavy Virgo and, and most of my heavy hitters, right? Um, sun, moon, well, I'm cusp, if you will, but whatever. Um, not even moon. Sun, rising, and Venus. <laughs> I don't know where I got that, the moon. But anyways, uh, you may, and I told Power One, y'all may be, you may be Virgo moon or dealing with a Virgo moon. You know, somebody who has Virgo moon. I don't know. It's something about Virgo, though. Okay? So... And then I flip to acceptance, which is 39, trying to get to capacity of love. And that 39 is a potential three, right? And then I saw cultivation, 
personal transformation and capacity to love is on the picture and message begins on 60 and ends on 61. So a six and another seven, right? All right. It takes courage to open up and heal areas of deep vulnerability. Each human individual is created with a profound longing to feel loved. Out of this need for love, you may exaggerate and parade your fascinating qualities while masking your weaknesses or fears. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's what I say. No, keep it. <laughs> I was so like, y'all, I was about to fight it and put it back. And they said, no, keep it. If you are not committed to looking at your root issues, you will feel disconnected from your true self. Take a moment to look at how you are handling yourself. Are you being open and honest? Are you withdrawing from a situation? Are you masking a problem with some sort of avoidance tactics such as shopping, drinking, or eating excessively? Are you holding grudges? When your heart is open, you will find that your actions tend to match your words. You rarely get offended. You are emotionally available. When your heart is open, you truly take responsibility for who you are and what your beliefs are. You love yourself more completely. Conflict resolves more easily and you have a desire to live in harmony with others. Ganesh's trunk represents the ability to, to consider how you are perceiving the situation which is significant in your spiritual growth. An elephant's trunk is an important appendage that is used in its day-to-day -day functioning. It serves to remove trees and other large obstacles as well as for more fitly tasks such as breaking open fruits to eat. An elephant has the capability to handle a range of tasks from minute ones to those requiring great strength. In this way, Ganesh's trunk is an emblem of his great intelligence and his extraordinary capacity for love. Rely on your own vast array of abilities to tackle your problems and know that Ganesh is supporting you in this process. Powerful. <coughs> All right, moving on. To, look, I turn right to it. Empowerment. Um, <laughs> the message begins on 44 and ends on 45. Powerful mastery here. So that's potential eight and nine, although we do not reduce master numbers. That's what you're working with, though. It still ha holds that energy. Yeah. Empowerment. Rely on your inner strength to ensure your dreams are realized. Oh, I love it. That's what they told me to keep it. I can't make it up, y'all. And like I told Power One, this that is why I come up with your title before I even sit down to mess with the cards whatsoever. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. The blessing of Ganesh is sensing your personal power, being confident, responsible, and reliable. The energy from this card is feeling of optimism and positive energy. Dreams and long-term goals are becoming reality. If you have been lethargic or unmotivated, take time to tune into your personal power. Yellow is associated with the so mm -mm. yellow is associated with the solar plexus chakra, which is the third chakra. This chakra is considered to be at the core of your being, your power center. Here's the home of your self-esteem, your willpower, self-discipline, and your personality. Ganesh is showing you that there is an important purpose for you in this lifetime on Earth. You are awakening to your personal power and the memory of yourself as a soul. Your healing will be complete when you see the light of your soul and know that light is who you truly are. Every time you criticize yourself, you weaken your resolve, loving and accepting yourself. Mm -mm, that's a period. <laughs> Wait a minute. Every time you criticize yourself, you weaken your resolve. Loving and accepting yourself and acknowledging your value are the foundation of a balanced solar plexus. When the solar plexus chakra is in balance, you are confident and empowered with a healthy, self healthy level of self-esteem. You have respect for yourself as well as respect for others. You have a strong sense of self and your personal power and you use it responsibly. Be confident in your talents. Love yourself. Be willing to powerfully express yourself. Choose to be direct with your desires at this time. If you are asking about a decision, all indications are that the time to act is now. All right. And that's funny, y'all, because we, um, <laughs> we essentially going backwards. And like I said, when I first pick, uh, picked up the pile, this was on top. So I I uh, I took a minute really to see how they wanted these to sit, to lay, right? And um, I was going to put it first, you know, just go from the top, you know, down across this way. But uh -uh, Spirit said, no, like this is the way it's meant to be, which is why it's like this. And that is powerful. What I'm getting to is the fact that we had, to, <laughs> I'm hearing started from the bottom now we here, but remember the fall? Like 
you failed to get back up and you kind of had to go back, right? You had to go back to the, to the beginning in order to start again, to grow. Because anytime you ascend or level up, you know, go through a growth spur, if you will, it's like becoming a child all over again. And then you ascend to your growth. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. There's something about that, though. Look, prayerfully, you'll get, gather the understanding. <laughs> 13, being a four, going back to that fear energy, you'll understand. If it's meant for you, you'll understand. Childlike expression is on page 30, and they're bringing me back to, what did we just see that was a 30? Whatever that was that I told you. I don't even remember. Um. Anyway... <clears throat> Maybe that was power one. That and something was on something was a 30. Oh, the lightning, yeah. Changes. That was power one. Anyways, um, childlike expression. 12 being a three, and it's on page 30, also being a three. Okay. In truth, within every soul exists an aspect known as the quote inner child, end quote. You can champion your inner child's emotional life by listening carefully to what you need and want in your own heart. You may have been taught to give up your own desires for the sake of others. This is not necessary. <sighs> and that's just bringing the guidance that not, that not acknowledging your desires and needs takes away from your life force and defeats your spirit. As a child, you were a sensory expert. It is now time to re-stimulate your inner child's ability to look, listen, touch, and explore the world in order to reconnect you with your emotions. Practice trusting your inner knowing or senses. Give your inner child love and a voice. Express your true feelings. Connect deeply to yourself on an emotional level by allowing all of your uncomfortable feelings to reach the surface of your awareness and be seen and experienced. They're bringing me back to you confronting that sorority girl or the mean girl. Mm -hmm. Find patience and joy in simple things. <laughs> and y'all, that may be a reflection of you, right? Mm -hmm. No, something. Take a step away from acquiring material things and take pleasure in the wisdom of your own soul. Love, respect, and honor your inner child. Allow time for play in whatever mode that pleases you, be it socializing, singing, yoga, travel, taking a walk, dancing, meditating, or writing. I told y'all, that's going back to that. You, you living your best life, just dancing, happy-go-lucky, singing, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the naysayers, negative Nancy's want to come through and try to rain in your parade. No, ma'am, no, sir. Do not allow that to happen. Okay. This is how your inner child operates. It knows no boundaries, holds no expectations, and loves unconditionally. But your baby, that's what you're doing anyway, or trying to, right? It's all a test to see if you have learned. Because that unconditional love, baby, that's, whew, that can be a lot. It takes a lot. Let's see. I'm going to put these here. Let's move this over a little bit so they can be a little close together. And then we'll put this one. Yeah. Okay. I know you can't see them in its entirety, but that is perfectly okay. The way this is going to work, my beautiful Pisces, is that first we're going to dive here into the good tarot. All things good potentially coming towards you may already be surrounding you and you just may not be aware of. I don't know. Then we'll dive into the Wild Unknown Tarot, which I brought back because there's a divine connection between these and the Wild Unknown Archetypes, as well as, of course, it will clarify and confirm anything coming from the Good Tarot. And there's this ongoing theme for things that may be hidden that you may be unaware of or unknown to you. Hopefully, it'll shine some light on it, right? And then we'll finish up here with your finisher for the month, which is the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And I brought this deck back because I have a divine connection with it and there's so much wisdom to gain. Okay. Let's put these aside. Let go and grow. Beginning with. Yeah. Here you go now. Holla if you hear me. Yo. I don't know why we're putting an accent on that lately, but I love it. That's a good way to start out. Happy life, happy life. That's all you want. You gain the knowledge and wisdom, hopefully, from your past endeavors with this four. Pearls of Wisdom here, and you are bound, and this is all about balance. Both of them, really, the four and the six here, are all about balance, stability, harmony, even. Love is what that six is about. And even look how balanced these two roses are. You could have come from some turbulent waters. You stay ten toes down, and now look at you. You at peace. 
That's what they what they say, going for your desires and that child life energy, right? Not giving up on that. Virgo energy, I'm telling you. This also came out for power one, just in a different in the uh wild unknown tarot. Look at her, she is protected. I am protected. Look at her. Honey, she is grounded in that peace. She ain't worrying about a thing. And y'all might want to get y'all some, look at them, solar plexus. Y'all might want to get y'all some yellow or golden flowers to work with. It's time to remove that mask, right? Mm -hmm. It's transforming. That's a butterfly. And it's blue. Peace of mind. Over your third eye, baby. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee. I do see this at work with that moon. Y'all, Some of y'all are truly Virgo moon. Ah, that is coming through big, 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 big. It's something about that, like in your shadow, like working with that. I mean, Virgo is your shadow side, right? Which is beautiful. <laughs> if any sign I feel like would be a shadow sign, it's not that it's nothing bad. Because your shadow, like you have strengths. It doesn't matter. I know we, 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 temp we typically... For whatever reason, I think because of ego, and most of us are generally stuck in the ego a little bit or inflated, I guess. And so we typically always go with the sun sign. That ain't what it, it really where it's at. <laughs> I mean, it's more than just that. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. And I feel like for you to be a Virgo moon, you go real, real deep, baby. You definitely got some powers out of this world. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. And what I'm getting to, though, is that just because a shadow or dark doesn't mean it's ne uh, negative or bad, y'all. So please, like, open your mind to get out of that connotation because you you really holding yourself back. You know, <clears throat> come on, Roddy Rich. <laughs> nah, but for real, like, get out of the box. Think outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? Because what you feel like has been, you've been hiding in that darkness or whatever. Baby, it's meant to shine. I'm telling you. I'm telling you from this, I told y'all that, that that's meant to shine. What you've been trying to hold hostage in you internally, that's meant to shine, baby. So heal yourself. And that's what Virgo is talking about too. Some of you, you may want independence from whoever that was, ex-lover, friend of me, whatever, trying to Mm -mm. Look, trying to come and, and rain on your parade, but you said, oh, No, no, a ta ta. I'm done, baby. I'm going on 10 and 10, done and done. You done left this self sabotaging negative ideations, all that bullshit in the past. You, child, can't touch this. That's what I get. That is what I get. And look how you blowing that fear away. It's like, Oh, my, my, my. Look at this, y'all. It's like I told y'all, this star in the channeling that's coming through, busting through your internal light in the center, right? Um, even with them, because y'all got, I mean, even with this, man, even with working with your sacral chakra, that's what I see that as, right? Leo energy, potentially, because I told y'all there was 17 triangles, which potentially is an eight, and I got that Leo energy out of here. Even the third, uh, your solar plexus chakra is Leo, right? I mean, that's home base for the ego, right? Anyway, what I'm saying is, once you work through and heal, you know what I'm saying, ground yourself in those chakras, especially, and you can remove the debris from that. I told y'all this was breaking. This was busting out whatever blockages or anything that, you know what I'm saying, negative that was holding you hostage, that inflated ego, negative ideations here with this air energy, whatever it is. But it's like, that's what that is, right? So you're clearing as long as you do the work, you honey. And which I see you are, because y'all want y'all happiness. Y'all want y'all independence, y'all freedom, <laughs> y'all peace, y'all serenity. Y'all want that. That's beautiful. And you just blowing it away. Once you done broken all of that up, broken all of this up, you throwing it out. You blowing it away. Okay, y'all, I do apologize. They going right by the window now, cutting the grass. So <laughs> let's just get through it. Distraction, right? <laughs> that mob. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Look at here. Go on. Look, answer the call from Power One. Go on that journey, right? This is a journey to higher learning. And I feel like, honestly, I'm getting more Virgo energy now. Could be any other earth sign, Taurus and or Cappy here. Um, it really doesn't matter. But uh, I feel like this is just you, you know, ascending. Like it says, being uh, self-aware, self-accountable, responsible, right? 
this is also that <laughs> and it's funny because it's, it's I know it's no coincidence it's coming out over here under this childlike expression and I was just getting ready to say my um who I'm out of breath hold on what I was getting ready to say is my pages for those of you who don't know my pages are generally um um, they're after the, they come after the tens, right? So I consider them like 11s. And if you, they are, remember when I said, uh, as far as like you fall and then, um, when you fall, you get back up, you know, it's like, as you ascend, you go through levels. And when you get back up or go to a new level, you got to start from that childlike energy again and grow, right? And mature. But you got to, it's like starting from ground zero and then you learning or relearning all over again, right? And that's exactly what this page of earth is doing. This may have something to do with a child, like literally your child. I don't know, especially if your child is an earth sign. I don't know. But um, again, I feel a little more personal, but it's like, now, because every time I get any type of antlers with any anybody, any animal, whatever, I see that as wisdom, as like journeys that you've been on, different paths you've had to take, different lessons, right? And that you've grown from, hopefully. And now you're on a new journey, embarking on a new journey with that 11 energy, that spiritual awakening journey or path, right? Mm, I love it, though. <laughs> some of you may be going back to school I just feel like it's more self-learning right you know you may be self-taught in whatever this is you wanted to do that you love to do <laughs> excuse me alright let's see what they got for you ooh it's your choice though six the lover's energy Geminian energy here it doesn't have to be I feel like <laughs> y'all are the way it's aspect in this tin of water here. Y'all really trying to get this, this happiness, happy life, happy life, especially for that to be in reverse. That's where the geese are headed towards, <laughs> right? Mm, that's joyous enlightenment, though. I don't know. Maybe you are indecisive for some of you, especially if you've been hurt through love. Uh, it's something about that capacity to love. Just remember what they say, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all are, are, are <laughs> conflicted a little bit. But this is done. You got 10 of air twice. This is done. No more second guessing yourself. And I feel like, honestly, this is like I told y'all, even out of this one, that this is just that negative, uh, the people outside of you, like, right? The mob, if you will. The, um, the person coming back from the past trying to do whatever, sabotage you, you know what I'm saying? Keep you from moving forward. But you're like, nah, done and done. Because look at here, you protected from this BS. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you going away. You know what I'm saying? You going back to happiness like this right here. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You can't touch this. I'm telling you. That ain't about to get you. Okay. <laughs> they tried it though. They did. <laughs> Look, they tried it. Somebody is not happy. Mother of Earth, this is Virgo and energy for me. But it's in reverse, as you see. And with it in reverse, y'all see that pinnacle? This more cappy energy to me. In reverse, that devilish toxic energy. This is that, uh, I don't know. That, oh, that might be talking about your, your shadow side, though. Especially for it to be centered. And I'm telling y'all, oh, they're going back to that fear, too. That's an illusion, y'all. Really heal, like nurture yourself. But I feel I feel like this is outside of you. I feel like this is somebody else. Like I said, you may be dealing with a um somebody who got Virgo heavy in a chart or Virgo moon or whatever. But they um because yeah, I feel like this is an outside energy. And this may be somebody to whom who you have kids with. You know, something about the child, right? This is also talking about somebody who's not really trying to nurture or heal their inner child, which honey. It starts starts from the bottom. It starts from the root. Like I told y'all, you may even have to go back generations, man. Past life regressions. I don't know. Look it. <laughs> Can't make it up. You got the moon here. Maybe even a cancer you're dealing with or something during either one of those seasons that I've already mentioned. I just feel like this is like being stuck in that box and you not seeing it clearly. 
you know, that illusion. It's also something about the shadow side again with that moon energy, y'all. Okay. This very well can be you, dear Pisces, but you know, I told y'all from the get go, Cancer is generally uh ruler of the moon, right? Moving on up. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. This is um <laughs> that divine that patience and divine timing. And I'm hearing I laugh because I'm hearing Erica Badu and I do not know why, but I'm hearing um how I go. Time's a wasting. Don't you take your time, young man. <laughs> Keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you lay. Yeah. What she say? <clears throat> Y'all gotta excuse my voice, honey. What she say? Run, baby. Run, run. Where you running to? And who you running from? Yeah. Some people may not understand what it's like to be a man taking full command. Oh, cause living in a world that's so, so strange. Yeah, and of course she say in a living in a world that's so so fast, gotta make your money last, right? Learn from the past. Ooh, that's why that's coming through. Mm -hmm. And she go on to say something about um, uh, how she say, teach the boys and girls, yay, yeah. So that's you. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are probably going on this journey to be teachers. Ascended masters. I don't know. Something with this. Um, bring me back to this 44. Teach them how to live outside the lines. Right. There's no rules. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you make your own rules. <laughs> I don't even like rules. I, I really don't. I don't. It, I don't know. Guidelines, if you will. That's that's you know, that's a little better. Rules sound so finite and like definite you know what i mean and and, it, and then because they're bringing me back to epiphany one and there's endless possibilities like we limit ourselves because of freaking rules and constrictions and you know what i mean like mm, mm, no it wasn't meant to be like that i don't feel anyway before i get on a whole nother rant <laughs> look at here go back like learn from the past this soul retrieval is all about getting into that solar plexus chakra and letting your inner child run free that's so funny it's like look at here oh look they done had me throw the dog on thing this is this is the golden nugget the 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 enlightenment i don't know the nugget. Look how he's holding. Ganesh is holding the solar plexus. And I feel like that's what the moth, butterfly, whatever you want to call this. But major transformation that has come out of this cocoon. And even in this cocoon, y'all, let me show y'all because it's beautiful. This cocoon is the heart. And I feel like that's what they're telling you to go get. That's the magic nugget. Go get what you love. Go after what you love. Transform your heart with this 49 being a four. Talking about that heart chakra. Stabilize and ground yourself in this energy. This is beautiful. Look at all this that's going on in the wings, though. Breaking free of what no longer serves you because that may have been holding you back and keeping you from flying. Hi, my beautiful butterfly. Baby, I don't know. Look, and that, <laughs> that's the pinnacle that you need to turn right side up, right? But you got to feel it with love. Oh, baby, come through. You got to nurture your heart with love. Let go of the fear. Face it and do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Pisces, I pray you get that. I don't know. Whew, that's beautiful. Let me see y'all. Look, <laughs> I turned right to the hummingbird, which is from Power One. So I'm telling y'all there's a connection. And that's 
That's the wisdom that you're meant to gain. I don't know, man. Look, and then I turn to the staff. <laughs> Every time I see this, that is thy rod and thy staff should comfort me. You are protected for real. And um, sacrifice. Oh, I got to show you because I was about to skip it. 44. You have sacrificed yourself long enough, dear Pisces. It's time for you to go after what it is you truly love and desire. Okay. All right. Soul retrieval. The picture is on page 100. Something is complete. It's ending to begin anew. Hold on before we get cut off. All right, y'all. And I'm going to have to hurry up so we can um, <laughs> not get cut off out of uh, for lack of space. Okay. Messages on 101. Something about them ones, y'all. The essence. Soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. <laughs> I can't make it up. Didn't we see innocence from Ganesh or something like that? Maybe that was power one, but I'm telling y'all. Mm -hmm. That goes back to that childlike expression, that energy. That's what innocence reminds me of. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. I'm telling y'all it goes deep. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that page of earth, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. It's upright, so you get the invitation. You are no longer fragmented. You are one with creation, and one is italicized. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. <laughs> If you are still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. Mm -mm -mm. Baby. <laughs> That's so peaceful. That's that serenity I feel. You have healed, Pisces. You are healing. I feel like it's done. I mean, you got 10 three times, which is a three. You're aligned. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Any of the numbers that I've already mentioned are called out. Don't forget, they could be the date you were born. Like the day I get you can't be born on the 49th. But when you reduce it to a four, potentially that is the birthday or life path. Okay. Any of the numbers I've already mentioned. You got nine a couple of times out here, especially the 18 being in the moon being a nine. And um, even 11. I told you some of them ones anyway, because you got three tens. You got, what, six, seven, and even, um, don't forget Ganesh, you got 34, which is seven, 23, which is five, and 12, which is three, okay? And in the box, of course, it's 44, but technically, you don't reduce the master numbers, but it still holds the power of eight, yes? Yes. All right, y'all. That is what I have. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below because you never, ever know how this may help someone else grow, especially in including yourself, though, yeah? Pray this is what you're here for. <laughs> I do. If someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate that. And I want to thank you so very much for your time and attention and for lending me your ear. Thank you for spreading or yeah, spreading and growing this channel through love and light. I truly appreciate that. If you're joining me for another pile, I'll see you there. If not, please take care, y'all. Don't forget your love and light because it truly makes everything all right. And just be gentle and nurturing and healing to yourself, okay? All right, to the next one, y'all. Deuces. All right, my beautiful Pisces, for those of you who chose this pile, pile number three, this is the pile and these are the messages for you. Let's keep in mind we are diving deeper into this fear energy, learning and realizing that you are testing your resolve to live in the energy of love and diving deeper into why the box master number 44 came out. If you skip the channel messages, I highly advise you go back to get further information on those. And I do apologize, but we kind of got to make a, put a move on so we don't run out of space. <laughs> okay. Um, so diving deeper into your topper energy here with the 48, again, a 12, potentially three. That's your energy, though. You know, you rule the 12th house, Pisces, and you are divinely supported and guided and protected, right? That's enough said. <laughs> so go on your mission. Continue moving forward. Like I told y'all in the dreams, don't worry about a thing, right? 
continue to pray and be thankful, honestly. Gratefulness magnified. Hashtag gratefulness magnified. The epiphany too, right? Um, that's all you need to do. For real. That, like, for real. That's that's simple. Because you ain't got nothing to worry about. Right? All right. Let's see what they... <clears throat> excuse me. I got... Look what I turned to. to positive outlook and priorities. 29, potentially an 11. And 30, which is 3. Um, yeah, don't you worry about a thing. Then I see innocence, which is a 43. Splendor and joy, 46 and 47. Or actually, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Divine support, which is on page 83. Again, potentially an 11. Um, <laughs> is a powerful tool for bringing focus and awareness to the deeper meaning of life. Ganesh is strongly connected to the mystical syllable. Um, sometimes written quote, Om, end quote. The sacred Om is the most important universal symbol of the divine presence in Hinduism. It is held to be the, the cosmic sound which was generated when the world first came into existence. The written form of this divine symbol when reversed gives the flawless outline of Ganesh. Wow. The use of the Om sound is one way to help you connect to the divine support available to you now. Ganesh is ready to share his wisdom, knowledge, and guidance that is innate within his being. You now have the opportunity to cultivate a closer relationship with Ganesh or with any ascended master or divine being that resonates with you. What did I tell you out of that box, y'all? Drawing on divine support facilitates a greater connection to your divine voice, which can be a source of inspiration and great wisdom in times of uncertainty or challenge. Ganesh's desire is to assist you on your life path knowing that he is guiding you away from fear, distress, and anguish and towards the light and love in, at the center of your being, the same light and love which resonates through the vast universe and which is contained within the universal sound of Aum. Consider chanting this tone or listening to a recording of Aum to bring about the energetic shift that is needed at this time. Baby. Oh my goodness. I love it. I <laughs> love it. I love it. And look at that colorway synchronicity. Perfect, right? Like, that's what I'm telling y'all. Y'all have nothing to fear. As long as you continue to, like I always say, spread your love and light, stay in that high vibe energy, Pisces, you will be just fine. You are protected. Like I already told you, divinely guided and supported, okay? The way this is going to work on beautiful Pisces is we'll first dive here into the good tarot, speaking on all things good potentially coming towards you may already be surrounding you and you just may not even be aware of it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Then we'll dive into the Wild Unknown Tarot, which I brought back this month because there's a divine connection between these and the Wild Unknown archetypes, as well as, of course, it will clarify and confirm any messages out of the Good Tarot. And there's this ongoing theme of things potentially hidden that you may be unaware of or unknown to you. Hopefully it'll shine light on it, okay? And then finally, we'll finish here with your finisher for the month, which is the Mystical Shaman Oracle. I brought this deck back because I am divinely connected to it and there's so much wisdom to gain from it. All right. So let me put these aside and we'll go on and dive on in. First out. <laughs> work for it. I'm going to make you work for it. No, nah, but spirit is really wanting to work with you. Look at that. I've been this has been coming out quite a bit and I love it because look at that that the major work is to be done at the heart chakra, your loving center, right? That's what's growing the most. That's what will get you and keep you in alignment. Going with that feeling, that being balanced in your heart way and following your heart's desires is how spirit guides you. You know what I'm saying? That's your truth. I'm here and I am the way, the truth, and the light, right? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. following your heart's desires <clears throat> i can't make this up that's the ultimate pearl of wisdom right here renew and rejuvenate your heart too is what i'm feeling for this ace of cups and obviously self-love is the best love always you give it to self then you have it for others that's how it works okay Hoo -hoo Hoo, i love it Speaking of heart way, Leo energy here, ruler of the circulatory system in the heart, right? Oh my, this is so much joy. Joy. Told y'all I saw splendor and joy. 19 being a 10, it is done. To begin anew, you are ready, honey. You essentially got two aces out here, if you will. 
And look how look how look how the, she's looking at <laughs> Ishi, but you know what I'm saying. She's looking at the the Ace of Cups like, Ooh, ah, thank you for that water, thank you for that emotional fulfillment, right? <laughs> thank you for enlightening me. Thank you for showing me the way. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for guiding me. Whew. Thank you for my power, my essence, my being. Mm, 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 mm. Something about that. Work on that inner child too. Let it be free. Going back to power too. Oh my gosh. I knew I felt. I, Y'all, this is beautiful energy, man. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Come, come, come on in. Let me out. I don't know. That's what I feel right here. Let the cat out the bag. Look at here. <laughs> Color outside the lines. Think outside the box, baby. You got infinite possibilities. What is it that you want and truly desire to do, to be? Dear Pisces, this is beautiful energy. You can have whatever you like to take me back to Epiphany 1. Infinite possibilities. Whatever you like. Whatever you dreamed of. Hold that vision, man. Do not give it up for no one, no thing. No place. You understand? <laughs> Look at here. That's what they're telling you. You've grown. You've ascended. You learned. This is your higher self screaming at you like, baby, look at you. Look at the changes with that lightning energy. Strictly speaking about that sacral. And honestly, I was just getting ready to say just the solar plexus is what I get the most. But I do see a little tinge of orange here. But it's like, you're, you've ascended, baby. You found the key. Look at here. And the key is to your heart. This is honesty and truth. I mean, this is groundedness. This is this is what it is. Torian energy here doesn't have to be. Whew, that's a lot, though. Mm -mm -mm. That's a lot. That's powerful. Some of y'all are truly meant to be because I'm getting Ascended Master vibes out of even this Hierophant here. Some of y'all are really working on or wanting a long-lasting committed relationship excuse me and I feel like you just have to establish that with self first and baby you got mm, then can't nobody tell you nothing Pisces like for real so within so without mm. <laughs> y'all got some heavy this is power this is power y'all got some heavy hitters here this is you your spirit's quiet, whomever, but it's you. Essentially, it's you. It's 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 the vision. It's you. I mean, whew. this may be the vision you have held of your, you know, your higher self, you know, the journey, the ascension. I don't know for yourself, something like that. That's a two, by the way. So you got one, two, a couple of ones, actually, but um, two, three and five so far. Any of the numbers I call out, maybe the day you were born on. And or your life path number. Take it how it resonates. Whew. Daughter of Wands in reverse. Somebody, however, is not really wanting to. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I hear heed the call. I don't know. And this may not even be you. Okay. But, um, because this daughter of Wands is like the page of Wands. And so I take this as sage energy. It doesn't have to be. But, you know, that's all about going on that spiritual enlightenment journey. Um, but for it to be in reverse, you're not really moving. However, I do see it as a good sign because it is facing the sun energy, right? Maybe you you are, you are might not quite be there yet. You might still be allowing fear to kind of hold you back a little bit, right? But I feel like you're picking your head out and you are at least interested because you are headed toward the way the snake is headed towards the sun. You know, she may be calling forth to it. I also see this as do not allow temptation to get the best of you. I don't know why that is coming through right now. But sometimes that snake can be a little, you know, low vibe, tempting energy. But I do see too, because sage energy can be that kind of in and out, you know, play play from the Himalaya type of energy. And you're not allowing that. You're not wanting to be that any longer. Say, uh, look at me calling you sage. Pisces. Okay. Yeah. You, you want balance and peace and harmony. And like I told y'all, this is Libra and energy here with the justice. 
um, an eight, which is interesting out of this deck. I always find that very interesting because generally the justice is, in a, is, is an 11. Jesus. So in the way that it's coming here between the sun and this ace of fire, you very much so may have something to do with the Leo. But um, what I was saying is I feel like this is that serenity going back to Epiphany 3 as well as it's just you balancing the light and dark aspects. You know, coming into balance and being peaceful within yourself. Like I said, so within, so without. And you're realizing that. And so you will see that in your world. This is also, I'm getting karmic justice, especially with that eight. So spirit is coming through. That's why I told you, you protect, you ain't got nothing to worry about to whoever that person from the past is trying to come and disturb your peace. Mm -mm. It ain't happening. It ain't. Okay. All right. Finishing up here. And y'all, I know it's, I mean, y'all's is pretty straightforward, but I mean, I know I flew through it, but. It's, it's straightforward to me. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Woo! I told y'all some of y'all ain't ain't <laughs> ain't trying to take heed to the call right here, right? You got the journey in reverse. I forgot who else this came out just like this for, but uh, shoot, it maybe any of the signs I just saw. Or I meant just saw. <laughs> I just mentioned, so you might want to check them out. I don't know, but uh, again, this twenty nine potentially being an eleven. That's all about that spiritual awakening, enlightenment journey. And just like I be telling y'all, for those of you who are new, my daughters or pages are like um, 11s, right? Numerically, because they come after the 10s. And so for both of these, that's no coincidence to be in reverse. Some of y'all are really not trying to go on that spiritual awakening or enlightenment journey. I get it. You still allow fear to kind of deceive, not even kind of, definitely to deceive you. But there's so much wisdom to gain and look at. I had a vision of love. I knew it was going to come out, you know, some way, some shape, form, fashion in the reading. She's just, her song has just been, I mean, that's like the overall theme over the past months. Mm -hmm. And even here, you got to open up your heart, be vulnerable. I do see it ascending. You are growing in love, which is powerful because Londrell's Grow in Love was one of the songs that, that came out on Shuffle during meditation. So I feel like that's specifically for you. It's like spread your wings and fly, man. I feel like you might want to check out POW 2 if you um, haven't already because there's something there for you, okay? Wow. All right, let's see what they got. Look at here. Y'all, look at this. Oh, my gosh. That's that Leo energy. Another 19, which is going back to this sun. That's that Leo energy, man. It's time for action. To light your fire, right? Mm, no. And then I got the hummingbird, which I think came out for POW 1. Um, so you definitely want to check them out too, which is a 26, another 8, right? And I even saw the lightning 30, and I think I flipped to that for POW 1 as well. So anyway, some major changes occurring here. The picture for the journey is on page 58, potentially 13 or 4, Scorpionic energy even. Right? Transformation, I'm telling y'all. All right. And the message is on 59 of 5. So growth, journey, movement. Okay? The essence. The journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. <laughs> what I say? Outside that box, man. The journey is not a holiday. It is a call to be hermit-like and go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. Wow, that Virgo and energy coming back again. That's been a central theme for y'all overall, Pisces. And I feel like, as I told Pals 1 and 2, it's talking about your shadow side. Going into the deep, dark abyss is what I just heard. But the unknown, as they say it here. There are no maps to the territory you will be exploring. No marked paths or road signs. It's reversed, so you get the medicine. The journey is calling you, but the timing is premature. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Other things must be completed first, or you may still be attached to knowing the destination. I told y'all, that's why I was getting that temptation. Okay, that kind of Capri, not even kind of, Caprionic devilish energy here. When I said that about the, um, the snake, right? It's because... It says you may still be attached to knowing the destination. That's why you're not trying to move or go on this journey. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. Wow. Okay. All right. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination. It's who you will become as you are transformed along the way. 
Wow. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> it starts within. Like I said, so within, so without. Within comes first. If you want to see this peace, this balance, this harmony, this enlightenment, this joy, this happiness, this love, it's beautiful. I mean, awesome. And even these in reverse, I mean, don't don't fear it. Like it's nothing bad necessarily. But um, if you want them upright, right, don't fear it. It's it's but you have to take that journey deep within internally first. And then, like I be telling y'all, then you will see it reflect in your 3D. And it takes time, though. You got to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. You feel like you done did the healing, you done whatever, whatever. Okay, give it time and divine time. That's the thing. There's really no such thing as time. It's all an illusion. All right. All right. Anyway, that's what I got for you, my beautiful Pisces. Those of you who chose this pile, I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below because you never, ever know how this may help someone else grow especially and including yourself though, yeah? If someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. 1717 on the timer when I said that. I pray, I pray, I pray that you don't forget your love and light because it truly makes everything all right, y'all. I'm grateful. I appreciate you. I'm so thankful for lending me your time and attention and your ear. Thank you for letting me channel your energy and read for you. I pray that it helps. I really do. If you're joining me for another pile, I'll see you there. If not, please, please, please take care. Just be gentle, nurturing, healing, kind, loving. Be patient, right? Be patient with yourself, okay? All right, my beautiful Pisces. Until the next one. Deuces.